thing about working with small small businesses and small business owners is everybody gets to design it in their own way. And so when the, the name of this is Robert Wesley Designs. This is the Robert. That's the Wesley. Wesley is Robert's son. Hello. Hello. So How are you? The, so the okay. super, super fun thing is, is that not only were they building a business, but it's a, a family business, and obviously a business is going to be handed off generation to generation. So they're partners in this business. So they get to the build it together, which has really been kind of a fun thing. All very sort of old school traditional furniture and, and sort of hands on and seeing it, you know, in person. And then Russ has been really sort of trying to drive them into a way that they could, you know, get into that internet space and, and sort of do some furniture. Social networking and things like that kind of thing. Are you into all that? The yeah. online yeah. stuff, are you? social networking. The brother guy, the online yeah. guy. Yeah, that's me, I guess. <laughs> So Wesley's really been trying to do that. And what's interesting is it's, the, it's that kind of union young. I mean, where you get that real traditional, the sort of the you know, new young fresh kind of look where there's a lot of experimentation. And so it's, it's just, you know, part of that kind of a family business. And business. Again, you know, why you do this? It's, this is his fun. I mean, this is how Bob makes his living, how his son makes his living, how, you know, they support one another and they support the other people who come in here and are able to make you know, profit off of the work that they're doing as well. So it's all like goodness, you know. It is, it is good. And they won't be able to watch your son, I mean, especially selfishly, I get to watch my son grow up and achieve and become, you know, a, a, a real asset to society in a world that to make really good business decisions right there at the bottom level. I mean, we're right in the trenches. There's no school that's going to teach you how to make a profit. When you come face to face with the people who walk in here, and, and this guy is fabulous. We give a little, but it's a culture of grinding these days. Yeah, it's terrible. But so yeah, it's a culture of grinding. It is all the cultures. I I used to think I used to think it was a Middle Eastern thing, an Asian thing. It's, yeah, the wealthiest people. Caucasian people in Newport Beach are taught by this gal, this Susie Orman, Orman ask, for the, ask for no tax, ask for free freight, ask for an additional discount. And they come in here, just it, and the nicest people, the nicest, I, I'm sure that more of a blue collar uh, category of people will walk in here and say, I really like this bowl, how much is it? And I'll say, a um, hundred dollars and say, okay, thank you. And they'll pick it up and buy it. But the wealthier wants to come in, well, I'll give you 75 and uh, and I'm no tax. Oh, well, every, well, everyone wants to negotiate. Is what you're absolutely. Saying. Right. right. Absolutely. <laughs> Everybody's a negotiator, so it is. We're right in the trenches now, and I don't think that there's ever been a business school that could address that. Never. Never. It's, uh, it's got to be, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, it's amazing. I sent a man bought this credenz over the weekend. This is a true story. He bought it. He negotiated me down on some pricing. We agreed to it. It was, there was some profit in it, but we, it was beneath it. But I, I was having a slow weekend. I negotiated. We sent it over to his house, and uh, we got a call and said, uh, well, the driver wants $150 for the train. And I said, yes, that was part of it. He said, no, no uh, we're going to stop payment on the check. I said, well, you guys can do what you want, but we, we're going to stand or fall. I was angry, and I was going to pick it up for $150. I was thinking I was going to pick it up. I'm going to ship it here to tell you how to Wesley Googles his address. He just bought a $2.5 million home overlooking the water in Dana Point. <laughs> and he was going to screw me for 150 bucks. Did you still bring it back? No, I didn't. I never got there. I said, I just, he said, it's going to stop payment on the check. And, and, uh, and, um, he, he, they never, they said, well, we'll think about it, whatever, and they never did. Nothing ever happened. I'm not sure it might have happened. It's going to go to my truck driver, and then I'll have to reimburse him. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get to know Andy, then? Uh, Andy was referred to me. I wanted to start a business. I've been a rep for many years. And um, he said, well, to start a business, you're going to need certain things. And he gave me Andy's card. And Andy was fabulous because Andy's a wealth of knowledge. He has the, he found us 
everything from the bank to the insurance to the to the to the web to everything to run a business Andy had in his will. I didn't know at the time. The reason you had all that stuff that you start getting, this is what you're going to need everything and then I don't think I I could have done it as as easily and he just he made it simple and I want to thank you again. Thank you. You can't get people like Katie and, and uh, I mean you just have relationships and because of your referral. I, at the time when you said furniture and and the bank. That was like saying, you know, I, I go for Adolf Hitler. Uh, yeah. It was, and they gave me a shot over there.